tonight, several petitions are circulating in Norfolk to stop the school district from changing start times in the fall. The school board made that decision last year to change the times to better align with student sleep schedules. And while some are not in favor at all, others say the schools just aren't ready. Any of your sides, Brett Hall is here now. So, Brett, what is the latest on these petitions? Well, Tom, these petitions are not legally binding. However, we spoke to the person that created one of them, and she says that doesn't really matter to her as long as it gets to the majority of the school board. Because just as you were talking about, the recommendation, even from the superintendent, didn't get the attention of the school board members. Do the right thing and delay. It's not really planned out the way that it should be. That's mother of two, Kate Shero's takeaway from the current plans to alter school start times for 30,000 Norfolk students this coming fall. It would change our family dyna dynamic quite a bit. It would end our family dinner time because he would be getting home from sports really late. Kate Villafort and her high school freshman Tyler agree with her, saying it's unnerving not to know what exact start and dismissal times will be. As a parent, I haven't been notified at all. I have no idea. Last week we learned why school administration isn't sure either. A consultant hired by the school board says because the public hasn't been informed and because there isn't money for additional lights, they, along with acting superintendent Dr. Sharon Birdsong, recommended the school district delay their changes another year. I don't want us to rush into something if the boots on the ground, if the, if the soldiers are telling us we can't handle it. And while the school board chair and another agreed, the majority did not. A direction is a direction. I don't know how we could be a year later and it's not done. Someone needs to be accountable for that. That's not a reason to move forward. It's why Shero and her husband started the Change.org petition, hoping the board will reconsider. They say the real accountability needs now to be held with the board. And I talked with the school board chair late tonight, and she tells me she's not sure when they will get another update on maybe solid start and end times. She says at this point, though, she plans to respect the majority. Brett Hall, telling your side.